Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic in hand is Introduction to Sindh Labor Policy 2018. My dear students, the Sindh government has, as a matter of fact, announced that it has become the first provincial government to present a tripartite labor policy after the 18th Amendment in the Constitution of Pakistan 1973. My dear students, at the ceremony of unveiling the policy at a press conference on Saturday, Sindh Minister for Information, Labor, Human Resources, Transport and Mass Transit, Mr. Nasser Hussain Shah said, the policy is for laborers that are the most repressed segment of our society, but it is also friendly to investment so that both employees and employers benefit with balance. This is the main objective of this very policy, my dear students. The policy is, at a matter of fact, right, rights based, participatory, and inclusive policy said the minister while presenting the labor policy 2018. My dear students, the Sindh labor policy focuses to ensure health and safety at work along with guaranteeing living wages for all. In order to facilitate and monitor the implementation of laws, the ministry will set up a Provincial Health and Safety Council. My dear students, the policy states that laborers in the agriculture and mining industries will be brought under the labor legislation and provided the same protection as other workers. Moreover, the policy focuses that the labor laws are mostly male-centric but this policy will also address equal opportunities and equal remuneration in line with the International Labour Organization conventions. The Labour Policy 2018 will ensure that children get the minimum wage along with access to education and training tailored for them is the main objective of this very policy. The policy states that bonded labor will be abolished. In all its forms, all restrictive provisions on trade union formation will be removed in accordance with the ILO conventions 87 and 98. My dear students, the Sindh Labor Policy 2018 states that the government also plans to strengthen the Sindh Minimum Wages Board so that with the help of the existing tripartite, it can protect minimum wages in the province. My dear students, the policy also looks to extend the scope and coverage of Sindh Employees Social Security Act 2015 and Sindh Workers Welfare Fund Act 2015 to all formal, informal, contract, peace rate, home-based, and seasonal workers in all sectors of the economy. My dear students, the Sindh government, it is stated in the labor policy that the Sindh government will strengthen the social security hospitals and wherever treatment facilities are not available, the workers will be referred to public, private hospitals and the respective social security institution will bear the cost of treatment, the policy document said. My dear students, the Labour Policy 2018 of the Government of Sindh states that the Ministry will establish Labour Market Information System within the Directorate of Labour Sindh, a tripartite productivity council will be set up to analyze factors behind low productivity and propose sector-wise or industry-wise measures for the enhancement of productivity. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much indeed.